Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about a very good extension known as Placemeter Chrome extension. This extension will help you to record Selenium and HTTP traffic to create the load and functional test. So let's begin. Placemeter extension is very much powerful and in order to use that extension, just go to the browser here and search for Placemeter extension here. And this is the first link, uh, Blazemeter, the continuous testing platform. Click on this one. And you will land here on the Chrome Web Store page. So this is the extension which we need to install. I have already installed uh, this extension. That's why I am seeing this removed from the Chrome. But here you will see to install the extension button here, right? And once you will install, you will find this in your extensions here. So, so this is a small button here click on this one and you will get this window here it's a very simple window but yet it is really really powerful let me show you the power of this extension so before you uh, start with this extension i would recommend you to, to sign up on the blaze meter so blaze meter is a platform for continuous testing right so it's a free sign up to go and sign up and the benefit of uh, sign up is that you can run your scripts on the blaze meter platform and as well as you can download the scripts generated by blaze meter extension okay so let me open a new tab here and let me open the blaze meter extension i am already logged in here so simply here you need to provide the name of the test so i am naming it as google search and now you need to click on start this is a really really simple here here you see that save in the project default project so once you are signed up here so it will allocate you a workspace account and you can create the project right and you can save in your project and we have some options here we will see these options later but right now let me create a very basic script and show you the power of this, this extension here so click on start recording here and here i am searching for testing funda here and here you will see that it will wait for the content it will automatically go for the time delays and all the things okay and you will see whatever we perform here it will capture here and now i'm clicking on the testing funda here it will open my website and this number will be increased so you will find a ui and gmx here right we will talk about these two things later on so i'm clicking on selenium web driver then i will be clicking on the jmeter here just let me click on this one and finally let me stop this one so once you will stop this one here you will see a blinking button here so let me click on this one here and here you will find the multiple options either you want to reset all options or you can run so in run we have a drop down here and it says performance g meter gui functional selenium and end user experience monitoring using g meter and selenium both combined and furthermore what we can do is that we can go here and add it our js meter script or selenium script okay and finally we can save this recording here and simply let me click on the save button here here you will find these three options so jmeter is basically having a file with the extension dot gmx so in order to have a jmeter script just click on this one and here you need to tell this uh, extension that which domains need to include in some cases some random domains might be recorded and you don't want that domains to be part of your script so simply you can check or uncheck accordingly right now i need both because both google.com and testing funda were part of my recording script and i'm downloading this script now so save this one so it will export to gmx gmx is basically a J, J meter script right so it will create the whole scenario and it will create the script that's the beauty of this extension similarly if i go here and again let me select the domains here 
and let me go with the selenium only so here you see that selenium with the c sharp code selenium with the c sharp uh, ms test so there are multiple things you can uh, download in terms of the code here so the common is basically selenium web uh, java web driver plus test ng let me click on save this one and here you will see that it's a java file so let me open this one and let me open here so you will see that so we have a proper test ng web driver code present for all the actions we performed and the code is automatically generated and again uh, this might not be a perfect code but at least it gives you a structure of the code you can modify this code you can trim this code according to your needs and you can efficiently work on your automation so in order to let me show you about the jmeter let me open the jmeter here so let me go here and in my drive so i'm going to my jmeter so let me open the jmeter here and let me show you the jmeter code here as well for you so you can just record your actions it will record actions for both jmeter performance testing context and for the functional testing in terms of the selenium so let me show you this one and simply what i'll do is that let me go here and let me go to this particular test here so let me show in the folder so this is my test here simply what i'll do is that drag and drop here it will open my test here so you will see that this is my test and all the request has been generated here with all the data here whatever we perform so in this way you can just in couple of minutes you will be able to create your functional selenium script and as well as your performance jmeter script and again here in jmeter you also might need to modify some requests maybe some requests you don't want in some cases you might some modification and it takes according to your requirement so you need to do that one and here it will automatically add the header managers request default cache manager and this all address has been picked up while we were recording that scenario right so in this way you can actually generate the jmeter script and the selenium script now let's go back to this one and let me show you more details about this extension so here if we go to this advanced options so let me click on this one and here first thing you will find a user agent so basically right now we are focusing on our current browser but if you want a different settings different browsers or operating system so you can choose accordingly like edge right room this version firefox 31 windows xp right so you can simulate this thing as well and this is very good options here and then uh, we have this filter pattern here filter pattern by default you will find this thing but the purpose of uh, using the filter pattern is that while recording if you don't want to record something for example uh, i don't want to record the actions performed on the facebook or maybe the google because these are third parties we have used in the, in the application we don't want that to be part of our script so i can include or exclude those domains directly from here but again that's uh, not important because while saving this one we saw that from here we can let me show you here so we can uh, tell the this extension that which domains we need or which domains we don't need right so again and then here we have disable browser cache this is really important because uh, if there are some cache elements on your your web page for example this this particular link or image is cached so while recording using the blaze meter it will not record those steps so always keep that in mind always take this one disable browser cache here then there are some wipe server uh, service workers which will actually work as agents while you are recording here so this is not something which you should be worried about and uh, then we have record ajax request and if you are using the application which has the ajax request just take on this one then you can update the settings before running the test right now we have recorded something and we have some settings here 
So if you want to update the settings, you can click on this one and update the settings as well. Then we have randomized recorded think time. So it will mimic the actual user think times. So as a user, I took some time to click on the link, right? I took some time to write on the Google, like I was typing testingfunder.com, right? So automatically, if you check this one, it will randomize or mimic the actual human time which we took, right? And then we have a request to record. Here you can define the level of request needs to be recorded. Only top level request means it will not re uh, record the CSV, uh, sorry, the CSS and different HTML files or something like that. So in order to uh, know what kind of difference between top level and the rest one, so let me click on this top level request in the following. So here you will see that cookies, CSS, JavaScript images and other things. So if you don't want to record these go with the first option and if you want to record and want to make a part of uh, your test script having these all then you will be going with this top level request and the following right and finally uh, we have additional options here here you can export the id locators so this is specifically for the selenium here so if i go here and show you so it is talking about these locators right which were actually exported uh, by using this particular feature here you can also uh, you know uh, run this here you can add it this will let me show you here and let me click on javascript so i'm already logged in here so it will take me to the the blaze meter platform here so from here i can edit i can change the different things here right i can remove the the things here i can also export this as a json from here gmx here and i can also run this script from here okay and similarly, if I go here and if I click on Selenium, it will open here and from here you can change, update, modify as per your need, right? You can also import the JSON file from here and once you have made some changes, you can also again save the file, the latest file from here. So it has Python, Java, C Sharp, all options are available here. And one more thing uh, in terms of running, you can also run your script here directly. And if you want to run the performance script or both script at the same time, you can run this one from the here. But most of the cases uh, as an automation engineer, we would be, uh, you know, exporting these scripts, modifying these script as per our requirements. And uh, because mostly either we will be running on our own platforms, own servers. So that's why we might not be reading the base meter uh, platform here. But in some cases, you might be using the base meter platform because it's really powerful. You don't need to have uh, infrastructure for executing maybe 100,000 requests. Your servers are not capable of doing that. Blaze meter provides you that much power and space from where you can execute that extensive load test. So basically, in terms of load tests, Blaze Meter is really, really ideal uh, in terms of both executing and generating the scripts from here. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.